Hey, what's up? Coming off the Midwest premiere, uh, I did some bargain box diving. And one of the questions I get asked uh, regularly is, how do I know what to pull out of bargain boxes? So this is something I've, I've wanted to do. Uh, I just want to show you uh, an example of uh, what exactly I pulled from a bargain box and what my thought process was going through and uh, why I chose to buy what I did buy. So let's take a look at what I bought. This is from one dealer at uh, the Midwest premiere this past weekend at, uh, at the Indoor Sports Center in Loves Park, Illinois. Uh, these were all pulled out of dollar boxes. So let's go to the cards. So of course I had to have some Cubs on the top. So uh, this uh, particular dealer is uh, called Jennings uh, Card and Coin, I believe. They're in Freeport, Illinois. Uh, this is a dealer that I uh, dig through their bargain boxes pretty regularly at both their card shop and uh, at card shows. And they have a great selection of 50 cent boxes and dollar boxes. So when I'm looking for Cubs, uh, people always ask me when I'm when I'm flipping through and I pull Cubs, they ask me what I'm looking for. And I'm not going to spend 50 cents or a dollar on cards that I know I already have. So usually when I'm digging through bargain boxes and the Cubs cards I pull out, they're going to be serial numbered like this uh, Paul Blackburn on top numbered out of 100 to Elite uh, for uh, the product Elite Extra Edition. So uh, these are some of the types of cards that I pull out. Uh, so I'm going to show the Cubs first. Uh, and then we're going to go into uh, the cards that I did buy uh, for flipping and uh, and why I chose them. So uh, uh, we'll look at the Cubs here. Paul Blackburn, Elite Extra Edition, numbered out of 100. Here's a Heritage Miners. Uh, if you've watched my videos, you know I love this product. This is serial numbered out of uh, 99. Kevin Encarnacion, a first Bowman Chrome Green Refractor. Those are numbered out of 75 back in the day. Uh, here's a Carlos Zambrano Big Z Upper Deck. This is numbered, there you see it, of 99. Uh, we've got Eric Yokish, uh, who uh, is an Illinois kid from the Springfield area. This is a Diamond Kings rookie card numbered out of 99. We've got Carson Sands. I've uh, I have nearly a complete rainbow of his first Bowman Chrome uh, first Bowman Chromes uh, for maybe first Bowman Chrome autos. Uh, but uh, so I always like picking up Carson Sands cards. Uh, this is this is uh, I, the term I hate eBay one of one. Uh, it's numbered 100 out of 100. Uh, this is a Kyle Smith. I love gold refractors. I believe these are numbered out of 50. Uh, yes, this is numbered 19 out of 50. Kyle Smith. Uh, so these are the types of players that, that you know, you'll find in some of these uh, bargain boxes, the low serial numbered cards. Uh, they're players like Carson Sands, numbered out of 75, uh, or upper deck. You know, not too many people are after low serial numbered from uh, to the 2008 era. Uh, Mark Zagunis, another uh, blue from Heritage Miners. And then we've got uh, Alex Gonzalez. Uh, this is an upper deck 40 man numbered out of 40. So uh, these uh, these were out of the low serial number box uh, for a dollar each. I did get a bulk discount. I paid $45 for, for the stack, uh, including the Cubs, which uh, brings my price to about 85 cents uh, per card. So I'm going to show you the cards that I, I pulled out. And let me just do this so I'm not uh, shaking the table. Uh, so Brock Holt uh, is uh, a low serial numbered uh, Donruss Elite from 09. Uh, this is numbered out of 100. Now, Brock Holt uh, actually sells pretty well. I move his rookie cards on a regular basis, so I figure a low serial number, uh, even though it's college uniform, likely moves. And that's something people ask, uh, how do I know what sells? And really, it's just kind of, it's I, I just do. It's trial and error, uh, and uh, over time, you pick up on some of these things, and that's something I've picked up that... Brock Holt uh, sells pretty well. Alex Gordon, here's another one. It's a green refractor numbered out of 75. And I'm thinking, wow, this is uh, how times have changed. Uh, that Alex Gordon uh, numbered out of 75 is now in a $1 box. So at 85 cents, I think this is a good deal. My thought process on this card, Alex Gordon, low serial number. Uh, you know, he was uh, an all-star, big uh, fan favorite in Kansas City. I'm sure I can uh, flip this for, I haven't comped any of these cards, but uh, I'm thinking in the $3 to $5 range. 
So here we've got uh, a Topps Archives Doug Fister, and you're like, why are you pulling a Doug Fister card? Well, Topps Archives actually sell really well, uh, and this is numbered out of 50. Uh, so a low serial numbered from Topps Archives, a popular set, so that's why I pulled that. Walt Weiss, uh, two reasons I, I pulled this out of the dollar box, uh, because A, Walt Weiss is one of those junk wax uh, darlings. Uh, he was well-collected. Uh, in the late 80s. He came up, I think his rookie year was, what, 1988? Uh, so that's one reason. Second reason, this is a Rookie Gold Cup. And Rookie Gold Cups are really popular. There are uh, many collectors that actually uh, collect the run of Gold Cups. And this is a, a low serial number, numbered out of 50, 49 out of 50. Uh, so something like this, I think, uh, can pull in $2.50 to $3.00. Here we've got uh, Austin Kearns. These are popular. Uh, a couple reasons. A, number one, look how sweet this card is. Kind of looks like a credit card. It's that clear. Uh, it's an early 2000s low serial number. Low serial numbers from the 90s and early 2000s are pretty popular. Again, these aren't going to break the bank. Uh, you're not getting rich on the flips on these, but again, it's uh, those small incremental flips where I can probably sell this for two dollars and fifty cents, uh, and and you know make a small profit that basically pays for those Cubs cards that I showed up up front of the video. Here's an Adam Dunn. This is just a classic uh, studio portraits card. Uh, Adam Dunn, a fan favorite with the uh, Nationals. Uh, this is from 2005, and it's a really low serial numbered at uh, numbered out of 60. This is another card that I would uh, guess is probably going to sell in the $2.50 range to $3, maybe even 4 to $5. Here we've got an old judge, Adrian Gonzalez. Uh, one of the reasons I pulled this is Adrian Gonzalez, I believe, in this upcoming Hall of Fame ballot, will be on the Hall of Fame ballot. So that could trigger some uh, some potential purchases of Adrian Gonzalez cards. And this is uh, 2005, numbered out of 99. Here we've got uh, Jordan Montgomery, who had a great season, uh, even though he's a pitcher, uh, was moved from the Yankees to the uh, St. Louis Cardinals, had a great season on the mound, and this is a low serial number die cut out of 100 for Jordan Montgomery. Here we've got uh, another Heritage Miners. Uh, I just love this product. This is uh, Israel Pineda. This is from the year 2019. It's numbered out of 99. Uh, this is something that it, it's kind of a gamble. Uh, it's Heritage Miners. These still sell for a couple bucks. And uh, you kind of take, uh, it's, a, it's a low, low risk uh, potential decent reward, you know, maybe it sells for upwards of $5 if he, uh, if he does anything. And I honestly don't know anything about Israel Pineda. He may be out of baseball, uh, but, uh, it's, it's still fairly new three years old. Um, and he was in, uh, must be single a, he was born in 2000. So, uh, he is 22 years old. So still fairly young here. We've got a rookie tops, Chrome Troy Scribner. Yes, he's a pitcher, but it's a uh, numbered out of 99 rookie card from Chrome. So I figured this again, probably in the $2.50 range. That's kind of where I put some of these uh, 250 and that'll give me, uh, you know, a profit margin of about 75 cents on the card if sold uh, on their own. Here's Bob Gibson. <laughs> Duh, why would I pull a Bob Gibson? Uh, it's a, a, a Diamond Kings, uh, but it's Bob Gibson, and it's numbered out of 99. Uh, uh, Hall of Fame players in modern products sell really well, so that's just a no-brainer. Eric Lauer, another player that had a great season. I was a little surprised this was, uh, this was in the dollar box. You know, it's not like it's a, a $100 card. This is, you know, I think probably max value on this one, seven, eight dollars. Uh, we'll see. It might, I, I might be disappointed and it's only a three dollar card. We'll see. Eric Lauer uh, numbered out of 75. Again, I haven't looked up uh, any comps on these cards, so I could be off on, on my valuations. Gary Sheffield, another one. He's a Yankee and he's Gary Sheffield. He's uh, one of those borderline Hall of Famers and this card's numbered out of 75. So that's uh, that's one of those easy pickups for me. Alex Gordon, for some reason, he kept getting picked over in this dollar box. And here's a Gypsy Queen numbered out of 99. Personally, I'm not a fan of Gypsy Queen. There was a lot of Gypsy Queen serial numbers uh, in this box that I was going through. I passed on almost all of them, with the exception of a player like Alex Gordon, as I mentioned earlier with his other card. Ryland Bannon, his cards sell pretty well. He's a, a, a you know top prospect in the Orioles. 
organization. This is a Topps uh, Pro Debut. I love that product. This is numbered out of 99. Uh, so I think this is uh, going to be a decent return, maybe in the $3 to $4 range. Uh, here we've got Lane Thomas. Uh, he his he his stock really flew up. I think he made his debut this year. Uh, first Bowman. It's a green parallel. These are numbered out of seventy five. Uh, so I think this is a, a card since it's a first Bowman. It's color and uh, he had a decent season. I think this could be uh, you know worth a few dollars on the flip. Another Heritage Miners, low numbered, Lolo Sanchez uh, Pirates organization, black border. I believe these are numbered out of fifty. As I throw it away, yes, numbered out of 50. Uh, we've got another Alex Gordon. Uh, like I said, they were they were uh, picking, uh, uh, passing by the Alex Gordon cards. Tick, ticket to stardom, another serial numbered out of 99 for Alex Gordon. Uh, Cal Mitchell, Pirates Prospect. This is a Stars and Stripes longevity foil, and this is numbered out of 99. Uh, he's kind of come up. I think he may have made his debut with the Pirates this year. Joe Creedy, fan favorite in Chicago with the White Sox. Uh, playoff honors, and this Joe Creedy card is numbered out of 100. So uh, Joe Creedy is a uh, 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 fan favorite among White Sox fans. Pat Neshek, he's a collector, and there's a, there's a, a collecting base around Pat Neshek. So uh, here's a green chrome numbered out of 99, and I'm sure I can move this for $5 uh, on eBay. Uh, I think that's that's the price where I, not even knowing or looking, I would probably say a $5 price tag on this and it'll move just based on past experience. So that's kind of why I pulled Pat Neshek. He's in the hobby. Uh, he's a hobby name and uh, people will collect uh Hits like that of, of Pat Neshek. Now we go in, you see Jordan Alvarez right here. Uh, the Those cards that I just showed uh, were out of a box that were low serial numbered cards. Now I made the mistake of going through the entire five rows when there were several boxes that were cards as priced. As you see the price tag on this Jordan Alvarez uh, rookie card from opening day. Uh, there were many dollar cards and they were more modern and they were rookie cards like this. I wish I would have spent more time in these boxes because I found probably uh, uh, better returns on these cards. I pulled a lot of Jordan Alvarez. Now, remember, if you've watched any of my previous videos, uh, a mistake I made at, at a recent Madison card show was I pulled uh, Jordan Alvarez rookie debut cards out of the dollar box. I paid about 90 cents per card for those and they're a dollar fifty to two dollars, and they haven't sold out of my eBay store, so that was a mistake. So I m made sure to avoid those rookie debut cards. He's having a good uh, season, great season, uh, a run in the playoffs, and he's hitting really well. So I took another gamble on Jordan Alvarez, but I was picky with what I bought. Uh, there were several of these opening day rookies. I just pulled out one. I didn't comp. I just I feel funny comping at. A, uh, a dollar box. So let me just make sure I have the, I want to get these all in order. So I, I probably should have done this before starting the video, but I think there's just a couple. So we're going to go on the Jordan Alvarez kick. Uh, we've got these uh, tops Turkey Red. And let me see, these two look different. Uh, okay, so they're different cards. Uh, so there was one here with the backswing of Jordan Alvarez, Turkey Red, and then there were two of uh, these cards. And, and again, these were just a dollar. I paid 80, about 85 cents per card on these. There were several Heritage rookie cards. So I think I pulled eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, Jordan Alvarez with Aristides Aquino, who actually had a decent season as well. I think. Uh, so I pulled eight of these and I, I left about five or six for the kids. Uh, so Jordan Alvarez and I did, I, I did comp these uh, later because I, I just wanted to see since I did buy eight of them, uh, did I make the same mistake as I did with the rookie debuts? These actually sell on eBay for about $3 and 50 cents. Uh, so that's going to be a nice return at three fifty. I'm looking at about a dollar 75 net. So a dollar 75 times, uh, eight, you do the math. Uh, that's a pretty nice return, and that will pay for the Cubs cards themselves. Uh, again, Tops Archives, popular product. And how about Juan Marichal, a Hall of Famer in a great product like Tops Archives, and it's numbered out of 199. This was a, a great pickup 
uh, for uh, for eighty five ninety cents. Uh, again, Topps Pro Debut. It's just a base card, but uh, Raphael Devers. This is uh, a few years old. This is from 2016. So, wow, more than a few. Six years old. Raphael Devers, of course, a great player for the Red Sox. Here we've got a first Bowman Chrome Brandon Belt. I picked this out because I've sold a few of his just base Topps rookie cards for decent. So I figured his first Bowman Chrome uh, will sell for a few bucks. So I'm thinking maybe $5 value on that. Uh, Bryce Wilson, first Chrome Refractor with the Atlanta Braves. Uh, this is another flyer I took. Uh, I honestly don't know where this comps out at. I'm, I'm thinking anywhere between the $2.50 range to $7.50. I just don't know the market on Bryce Wilson. So that's something I'll have to research. Anford e. Greer, again, I don't know the market on him, but this is a purple first Chrome numbered out of 250. So I'm taking a gamble on this. Um, I think since it is, uh, it's 2016. So, uh, this could be one of those, you know, I heard, of, I've heard of him and I think I'm pretty sure he's still playing. So, uh, uh, this is one of those where I wasn't sure, but I was, uh, for 85 cents, I was going to take the chance. Uh, Will Clark, 86 tops traded rookie for, for 85 cents all day long. I don't think I need an explanation on that. Nicky Lopez, first Bowman Chrome refractor. Uh, these, uh, Nicky Lopez has a, a decent sales market. So, uh, first Chrome refractors of, of players that have decent markets is, uh, also a no brainer. Uh, Mark McGuire, this is a Bowman Chrome national exclusive, national uh, exclusive sell well. Uh, you know, anywhere from a couple bucks to, uh, to a handful of bucks, maybe. Uh, but I'm guessing the, the market on this, probably in the $3 range. We've got Bubba Thompson. Here's a player that uh, in, in some of my research at a previous uh, dollar box uh, last month, uh, I found that there's a, a decent market for Bubba Thompson when I saw a first Chrome refractor of Bubba Thompson. Uh, very happy with that. I think this is probably in the $10 range. So this is going to be a nice return on the Bubba Thompson. Uh, how about Yaz? Yeah, you can't go wrong. Again, the, it's the Hall of Fame thing. Uh, leather and lumber. And this is serial number. It's a pretty high serial number at 1989. Uh, but Carl Yastrzemski serial number. Uh, you can't go wrong with, with Hall of Famers and, and serial number. And the last one, uh, I paid... Uh, uh, this has a, a $2 sticker, but collectively I paid $0.85 cents for all these cards. Uh, this is James Wood. He has a, a really good market. He's a top prospect now with the Nationals. Uh, this is a Bowman uh, Chrome National exclusive uh, for James Wood. And uh, I, I'm not sure the price on this. Maybe $5. I'll have to, again, do some comps. But uh, I'm kind of targeting maybe that $5 range for that. So that's a look at uh, what I picked up. This is just from one uh, dollar box, uh, one dollar box dealer at uh, the Midwest premiere this past weekend. And just wanted to share because uh, sometimes uh, it, it uh, my other videos may be uh, a little long winded and uh, I don't really get around. So I wanted to show a real life example of, uh, of exactly what I pulled out from a uh, bargain box and why I decided to do that in, in a little bit behind the strategy. Again, I don't, bat a thousand on these. Sometimes there there will be mistakes made. As I mentioned last month with the Jordan Alvarez rookie debuts, that was uh, that was uh, an, uh, an unwise decision. But sometimes uh, when you're dealing with dollar cards, you have to take that risk, that gamble, because uh, sometimes when you're on the fence, it might be a 25 cent card, but it could also be a $10 card and it's a, a nice return. So that's my thought process. Just wanted to share uh, my strategy, and how I handle the dollar boxes. Hey, thanks so much. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Uh, hit the like button to this video, and thanks again. We'll see you soon.